Uh, this is Margaret in Windsor, and uh, I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 41 and brought to Moulton, Alabama, given the name of a twin, my identity stolen, given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempton, I married a Childers. Both twins I found out in 83 had been murdered by their mother. I lived in that pigsty and hell hole and to find out that my father's King Edward VIII and my mother's Claudia Ruth O'Keefe uh, Windsor, sister to American artist Georgia O'Keefe. Legally married to my father, he never married Wallace Warfield Simpson, uh, an imposter did. The whole thing was an illegal takedown of my father. It didn't even mention my mother uh, either in all of the, um, uh, like, my name is not even mentioned with the royal family either. They mentioned Wallace Simpson and an imposter. My Uncle George helped in it. That's Elizabeth's father, uh, who that lineage is illegal and should be locked up. Uh, but now I wanted to go to another thing. Uh, I found out in 83, and uh, there's a 99-year seal put on my father's takedown and my kidnapping. So I still have to go by the name Peggy Ann Dempsey Childers uh, till I can, if I ever get my name back. And I'm 75 years old, and I've been through a living friggin' hell every moment of my life. And I'm showing this. Uh, I just got through watching... Um, ABC, CBS, and NBC, where they're talking about the nanny, uh, who they can't, the family can't evict, uh, just outside Los Angeles. And I've been trying to upload during my getting uh, put out, um, trying to put it on uh, YouTube because up until about a year or two years ago, when I could get Facebook and YouTube. I didn't have a venue because the cops do not work for me. Now, I'm going to try to make this short because I just watched this and I put it on other videos. Um, and I watched that this morning. And the media all knows about this. They know about it. They know about my kidnapping. The Rockefellers control them. And the fact that if they told the truth about it all, it would really just take down this country. The total ongoing lies and crimes committed. But... Um, I did. Let me say this real quick, and I lose time on the video because I can only do ten minutes, and I'm not sure. Maybe I should learn how to run it up some more. But anyway, more time. I have to give background, and then the video is gone. But I did a book on mind control back in '77, '78, and what the agencies and doctors can do, uh, programming, um, modifying behavior, decision making making you into a different person, really, uh, like the shootings, the mass shootings, uh, Virginia Tech near me, and a whole bunch of uh, the Columbine, all of them, all those that are being told on TV, most of them are mind control murders. But I wanted to get to this. Uh, I was in a campaign uh, and then flown out to Larry Flips because he was the person that shot him was programmed. Now then, uh, during that campaign in 83, and since then, I've been put on the side of the road and lived in the App on the Appalachian Trail with everybody knowing it, in plain sight, starving. They're afraid of, um, I guess they think that they can't be touched. Because part of it's talking about my kidnapping and what this country did, and it's okay with them. It's a joke. Uh, the other thing is that I was writing about the Tesla files that were stolen, and what you can do with it, that's mind control, and you can create an illness or cure it. So you can imagine if they finally told what would happen with um, all the grants and the drugs you wouldn't need anymore and all of this if you can cure an illness, and the fact that they're afraid because they can also create cancer and all of it, and it's a weapon to murder with in different ways. Now I want to say what they've done to me. Uh, and and remember, all along I've had uh, I've shown it on other uh, YouTube's, but let me see if I can get this on before it goes off, and people lose interest and just ignore it. Uh, the video, I guess. But um, I want to say that 
in 86, um, I came up here because I was literally put on the side of the road. I had actually slept on the side of the road, and uh, it's hideous. And my children, I don't know where they are, Mark and Scott, they're heirs after me, and nobody will touch it. And nobody will help me. They were told by the cops. Uh, well, they wouldn't have had to have been told, really, because they don't care to not help me. But they sure don't mind hurting me. Now then, to what I was going to address from this this morning about the nanny. I am allergic to chemicals, some of them. And normally I should live a, a, a good life. Uh, but if you put me in where it's force-fed deliberately into my home, which I haven't had, so let's just say apartment, tent on the Appalachian Trail, they've had people come up and deliberately soak me wherever. And it's not that hard uh, if people stop and think about it. The maintenance guy can come in. And uh, if you're living, whether I've had a lease or not, it didn't matter. They would come in and uh, one person uh, showed me, uh, they took me into their home. I had known these. And took me into their home that afternoon and just showed me where they put chemicals to do with uh, uh, taking pictures and stuff, that kind of chemical that really hurts you. But I went in and everything was okay. Um, was out in the country, big home, and I thought, my goodness, how nice it is. And then in just a few short moments, because uh, I don't know how it was done, but it, they injected the chemicals used in uh, photography. And in just a few minutes, you're definitely ill almost, according to how strong. But that's how easy it is to do it. And when you're confined with a lease or the fact that you've paid rent and you're going to lose it and the fact that the cops will get you if you go out to the Appalachian Trail or or whatever, because I can't get an attorney. Now that I've all this time is gone, and I was going to say this, uh, the people are that own the businesses, um, like affordable corporate suites, over and over. I've stayed through the years, and I try to leave, run, open, and run back here. <clears throat> Lance Cooperman. So they've engaged the managers, and he's the owner, and he owns a lot of things now. So I was going to say here, uh, when I uh, I had to go back on April the 3rd at Northern Drive, and I have to say it's a nice place there. And <clears throat> I had been there before, and I'm not going to go into that bit. I can on this video. But I want to show you what they did. I finally, because of YouTube, and this was in retaliation for a review that I simply told the truth because I had the venue. They come in and, and they murder me uh, with chemicals over a period of time. They make my immune system uh, attack itself, and the inflammation and even the medicine can go against you, your lungs, your kidneys. Here was a letter when I finally, and everybody should have to see and experience what they were doing to me. It's unbelievable. They even chased me with a vacuum cleaner, Beth did, and that was just part of it, with what they were doing with chemicals. But I asked them to simply allow me to, um, and this is going to go off, so I don't know. I'm just going to put the nanny, if you care, to go back and put these two uh, together, okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to turn it off right now and just read the letter here. 